Hey guys, Bridget here, and uh, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, how to get started in UI UX design. And this is a question that uh, a recent uh, student of mine who took the Figma course asked me, since uh, he now understands the basics of uh, Figma and uh, the technicalities of the softwares, but uh, he wants to have uh, an overview as to how he can effectively get started in UI UX. So I decided to shoot this uh, quick video since I myself have been a UI UX designer for over the past decade and uh, I even managed to get to six figures in the past two years. And the way that I see people entering a UI UX design is through all sorts of different uh, ways, uh, but essentially I always identify three main paths. Now I myself, uh, I actually took uh, a university degree, but uh, uh, one thing that uh, I noticed is that uh, a lot of UI UX designers don't uh, even have formal degrees uh, or maybe they just took uh, a bootcamp or a part-time course. Uh, so I wanted to basically explain the pros and cons of each of these paths uh, starting from the free route. So when it comes to UI UX design and knowledge, uh, there is uh, a lot out there and uh, this applies uh, for both the theory knowledge and also the software knowledge uh, because potentially you could uh, just learn uh, everything for free. However, there is a catch and that is that when you're first starting out, you don't really know where to focus. So this is going to be long-term expensive, meaning that you're probably going to learn a lot of things which uh, you shouldn't really focus on and you won't nail the order right away. So if you're going with uh, the free route and you want to do everything at pretty much zero cost, which uh, I personally wouldn't recommend 100%. Now I understand that some of you guys don't really have uh, a budget or just want to get started for free, but I think that uh, you can start for a very minimal investment and uh, you don't necessarily need to go to uni. I'm not saying that uh, uh, the more you invest, the more you get out of it necessarily. And I'm also going to talk about my university experience in just a moment. But uh, what I would recommend is uh, if you really want to start for free, at least uh, get some mentorship in some ways. And this could be even like a one hour or two hour conversation with uh, someone who's already been there and done that. And I'm by no means uh, trying to promote uh, a consulting, which um, by the way, I'm not offering at the moment. I'm just uh, full um, with my full time job and I have so much things going on. But uh, if you can find someone who can actually um, basically create a structure and uh, kind of that you can check in with, uh, that is really going to help you. And uh, when it comes uh, to the other options, uh, I would uh, highly recommend uh, maybe a part-time or online course uh, or a bootcamp or, or some sorts. Uh, and uh, this is something that uh, could uh, potentially speed up uh, your work uh, and learning experience uh, because in a matter of, uh, I would say six to 12 months, uh, you could have uh, a good portfolio to start uh, actually applying for jobs, uh, internships, uh, or even get started with uh, some small design projects uh, for as a freelancer. So this could definitely be something that uh, you could do pretty fast if you have the, the right foundation. And I'm assuming that you don't have any design foundation already, so you're not, uh, um, you don't have any experience when it comes to graphic design, web design, or things of that nature. So personally, I would try and stay here for the very most part. So anything between like free courses, part-time courses, the mentoring really helps. And uh, again, it, it doesn't have to be like a weekly thing. It can be just like a check-in monthly with someone who's already have uh, um, the experience and uh, uh, basically they are where you want to go. And I remember when I first uh, was starting out, uh, I would reach out to mentors. I have, uh, I still am friends with, uh, with them and some of them, you know, they're now working at Facebook. They are now uh, doing all sorts of different things and having that feedback from someone who is already, who has already been there and done that. Uh, this is super, super helpful. I cannot explain it in word uh, how just, you know, grabbing a coffee with uh, a person like that uh, uh, can actually help you in, uh, in the long run. It's really, really helpful. So regardless of the avenues that, uh, that you decide to basically go, 
Uh, that would be my personal recommendation. And when it comes to university degree, um, that uh, is the most expensive route uh, and uh, the longest route. So if you have the time, if you have the budget or are willing to take on uh, um, you know, the, the cost associated to that, uh, uh, by all means, uh, do it because uh, it's a long time. You can learn uh, quite a bit, a few things. But personally, I don't think that you have a terrific edge uh, compared to maybe someone who took a part-time course uh, for one one year, and uh, then they're working uh, maybe like two years uh, uh, in the field uh, compared to someone who actually took the whole three years to just uh, uh, get the degree. So definitely something to consider. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in uh, the comment section. I know that is a big, broad topic, but um, I'm trying to help with, uh, with these videos. And uh, I really hope that uh, the message uh, has been received. And again, if you have any feedback, just let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.